first things first, that shim that goes on your main shaft, make sure it's not too loose and it's not too tight. If it's too loose, go up to the next shim. If it's too tight, pull it out and file it down. You only want about three thousandths play in there. Otherwise, your, uh, your one-way bearing is going to bind up. It's going to have friction and when you go to auto-rotate your blades won't spin as long. Your blades should spin nice and free and keep spinning almost like they're going to stay spinning forever. Otherwise, it's just no good for the one-way bearing. One-way bearings don't have thrust bearings on the top and bottom. Anyhow, I want to say thanks to Steve from experiencerc.com. He's helped me out quite a bit. He's given me some discounts to play around with parts and experiment, try to resolve this problem here. And uh, I've tried everything. I've tried new pitch sliders, new tail grips, new thrust bearings, new washers, tail blades. When you change the tail blades, it will sound different. It will sustain that vibration a bit, but it, it, it won't get rid of it. And what ends up happening in most cases is that that torque tube drive, where the spline meets the tube inside, it'll thread itself in and deform the aluminum tube. And uh, I've also tried new umbrella gears, rebuilt the bearing box or the tail box, the bearings. A new umbrella gear in the front with the vertical gear that runs off the uh, horizontal, you know, the auto rotation gear. I'm sorry, not a good video guy. But anyhow, I went, I changed from carbon fiber tube back to the aluminum tube, and that still didn't resolve the issue. So I've tried everything out there that's been posted on all these forums, nothing's worked. What I did find was in, in a I'm not telling you guys to try this because it's 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 crazy to try it. I put it in the hover, right in front of me, about two feet away, and I could see that that tail fin start vibrating like 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 crazy. And what happens when it starts vibrating like crazy at the bottom? It just travels all the way up, and then it, in return it gives that that torque tube like a torsional vibration that'll drive your torque tube back in. In return that whole boom is humming like crazy and it drives you nuts but anyways what I did was take the tail fin off and fly it without the tail fin completely gone that vibration disappeared the the tail rotors were tracking fine everything was fine no more humming so then what I did was get another tail fin and put them both together there's two tail fins on here so what I did was sand down the insides of those, epoxy them together, and then put that extra bolt in at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it or not. But anyhow, that, that's all it was, because they increased uh, the tail speed with the new gearing system. It started having so much air flow by that tail that, that it wasn't rigid enough uh, that, that the air started a vibration because it was way too thin. They should at least go to like the 2.5 or 3 millimeter thickness tail fin. You know, more air needs more strength on some, you know, on the tail. If you guys try your tail, the one, original one that came with the helicopter, while it's sitting on the ground, you could almost put your finger on here and just flex it back and forth a half inch both ways just about. This one doesn't flex at all now. But uh, that's 4 millimeters. That's, that's overkill, but... Anyhow, had the experiment try to resolve this and it's all because of that tail fin's way too thin for the increased tail rotor spin and all the airflow now. It just sends it into like a violent uh, fluttering. You can almost barely see it. I'll take it up and I'll show you guys all three head speeds. I'm running 1875, 2000 and 2115. At 2000 this thing sounded like it was ready to rip apart in the back there along with the uh, tail rotors not tracking properly. <laughs> Let me see if I set this camera up and I'll take her up for you guys all three head, head speeds so you can see. It's nice and smooth now. 